Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and welcome to my flip through of my completed mini album for Hey Little Magpie using Maggie Holmes Round Trip. There is a first video showing you how the original book was put together and today I'm just going to go through it and show you how I filled it. Really like the size of it, I like the chunkiness of it uh, in your hand. So that's why it's on just rings. I didn't want it to have to close. Uh, I've used chipboard, stickers, tags, as you can see, it's quite full. All based on the postcard set that is in the round trip range. So I'll give you a flip through. So obviously the, that's my title page from a 12 by 12 that was cut and it was the title page of the postcard book. I didn't waste any of the postcard book kind of kept with a chronological story but actually um, give or take so obviously I'm talking about it's going away there's a lot of aeroplane ephemera in in travel obviously as that's what the range is about so perfect for this sort of starter pages a little bit of journaling on a tag in a pocket a couple of pictures of us actually at the airport uh, hotel I went with next and just some details about that about its location what we liked about it just that's just one of the three by four cards that I've created a flip up with and added a tab um, some of the chipboard I've actually taken a couple of layers off the back just to make it not as big um, but I'm happy with a bit of chunkiness bit of flip flap these were um, die cuts did a walking tour of the capital of Malta which is Valletta I even ran into people that we knew which was lovely and I've used a photo app to create some collages which you'll see throughout the throughout the mini book and I'll list those in the comments below the ones that I use so that's that in here a couple of um, tags as well balconies are huge in Malta and I've journaled about them on the end I've just put on a charm and um, a tassel gosh I nearly forgot what it was just to stop it actually disappearing because the tag is actually smaller than the pocket if that makes sense this one same again but I'm, i've got it facing the other way another charm another tassel and i i have a thing about doorways and door knockers when we're abroad they're fascinating i always think so they get a mention obviously yet again another collage just a little stop read guidebook moment um you've got to have a breather when you're away don't you uh, bigger picture this time and um, in the pocket lots of smaller pictures from this trip to this fort uh, different size tags um, just um, giving an idea of what it was like and some journaling that goes with it too just popped in the top between two cards now food is a massive issue for us when we're away we love trying different foods and um, seeing what what countries are famous for Malta's got a really mixed bag of food being close to Italy and obviously it's been lots of different um, nations have been there over the years so um, this is <laughs> some of the food photos that I took now we, what you'll see is some of them are tags and some of them are, are actually business cards I thought it was a great way to use some of the ephemera that I picked up so some of these are um, as I say I've picked up while I've been there so I, I, they've either got one or two photographs on different foods fast foods that they eat over there traditional foods obviously ice cream and uh, yeah a bit of pizza there so they all go in that one pocket but food is a huge uh, part of us traveling slightly calmer pages for a minute um still got a tag still got some ribbon just to match up um just to tell a story this is off the 12 by 12 sheet with the maps on just just a quiet moment but I have decorated the back. This was one of my, well, probably the, the favourite photo of the whole trip. Really liked it. So it's of the capital. And so it's got pride of place there with another tag. Tags were all off a 12 by 12 sheet and I cut it up at the very beginning. Now this is a flip up. This is something that happens in Malta where they actually fire these cannons twice a day. Husband was very interested. So I documented that story and I actually managed to get a picture of the cannons actually uh, being fired. So you'll find that there's something stuck to everything, a bit of chipboard or a sticker, um, just and a little bit of documentation as we go, just to keep everything moving. The colours are really good because obviously it's all one range, so it's all been chosen to go together. So nighttime photography there, um, just to, uh, some of the views of Malta. Churches, massive thing again there. So I've used another collage. This strip is actually off a six by eight paper pad. There was a hole there, but I've covered it up with the ephemera. 
Now, inside the churches, they do something slightly different there. They seem to put tombstones on the floor, or they did. And you can see there, they're all lined up. Um, obviously, uh, there's a, a thing, they're all got death related. And so lots of skeletons, Grim Reaper, lots of scythes. Absolutely fascinating, or I was anyway. I took loads and loads of pictures of these. Um, so they get their own little pocket as well. Um, went to the ancient capital of Malta so that, and went in some uh, catacombs. Took a bus, a great public transport system, and we went further afield to see these ruins and the Blue Lagoon. So that's in there. Then we took a ferry um, and then we went over to Gozo. So this is um, Gozo. This is where the uh, Azure window used to be. Uh, unfortunately, that collapsed a couple of years ago, but we still went to the coast. Um, lovely day out. More tabs here in the pocket with pictures of the seaside. Um, really enjoyed that trip. We also um, went to the ancient capital of Gozo, which is um, the citadel in Victoria. So that's where those photos were taken. And then we went to this church. It was a bus, a bus ride away, but it had been recommended in the guidebooks. It's, it's amazing. Um, and inside, it's known as the Church of Miracles. And people send in, who have experienced a miracle send in their medical aids or photographs or letters uh, about their miracles, uh, which are a little, little bit odd, but um, there was rooms full of um, this sort of thing. with these, And also they had these wonderful mosaics outside. So actually really enjoyed our visit there. And then it was time to come home. All happened, all done in a few days and back to England. We had a bit of a scary landing, so that uh, got a mention. So I've used the stickers, the chipboard, the sticker book and six by eight and a couple of sheets of the 12 by 12 with the cut aparts on them. So I hope you like that. Um, I'd love you to guess how many photos are in the book, but I will actually tell you there's over a hundred photographs in this mini book so if you'd like to document a trip and you'd like to um, get as many photos obviously you can imagine I took way more than this uh, into your book then this is a really good way to start so um, if you make anything like this uh, do tag me or hey little magpie and I'll see you again next month thanks for watching bye for now